is happening? Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you all for tuning in tonight as we tear into a brand new mystery pack product called the Retro Kaboom Box from the folks at 543 Collectibles. There we have two different versions before us here. We have the regular version and then we have the Patreon exclusive version and we are tearing into both of those tonight. And we also have a special gift from Joel, the creator of the Retro Kaboom Box. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. But first, we're gonna push this off to the side, the Patreon version, and we'll check out the regular version. And to purchase one of these, I will link everything down below in the description. So take a look at that. And of course, drop your feedback down below. Let me know what you think of this product. And also, Joel at 543 Collectibles. Let's take a look at the note. The note says, thanks for opening the Retro Kaboom Box on your channel. This is the eBay version which includes 10 packs from the 80s and two or three vintage cards from the 70s. The price point on this is $34.95, and that is with shipping included. So here's the eBay seller ID. I'll link this down below as well, JDK543, and there is the item number. But I'll make it easier on you. I'll put a link directly for that, so you can click on it and go directly to this page on eBay. Thanks again for taking the time to review my product. Well, thank you, Joel, for sending it over. Let's get into ripping and see what we have inside of here. We have a pack of ProSafe penny sleeves. You can never have too many penny sleeves. We'll put those on standby for any incoming hits. And we have everything nicely wrapped in bubble wrap inside of here. I see a pack of 86 Fleer right at the bat. I see a 1955 Topps card as well. It's definitely a nice sign. And let's see what our 10 packs are. We'll push this box up to the side. We'll make two stacks to put side by side on each version of the box. We have Al Rosen. It's a 1955 Topps card in a pretty awesome condition, too. Check that out. Good looking card. The top right corner of the back is a little muffed up, but uh, what would you expect from a 55 Topps? Overall, eye appeal on that is pretty freaking nice. And look at this. A second year Gold Cup with Gary Carter, 1976 Topps. Very, very nice there, too. And a 1952 Topps, Billy Johnson. Very, very cool. Number 83. Very nice. So those are our three singles. Let's check out what we have for the pack selection. I like it already. I see 88 Leaf. You don't see those all too often. 86 Donruss. It's always a nice pack to open up. 88 Score, the very first year of Score. 89 Tops. We have Sport Flicks. Always tough to tell what year those are. 1986. So that's a pretty awesome pack. Maybe we'll find the uh, the Robin Yount error card in there. That'd be pretty sick. 86 Fleer. We have Star Stickers also from 86, I believe. 89 Bowman. 88 Fleer and 89 Don Russ. So overall, good pack selection. Again, these are 35 bucks shipped directly to your door. We'll save like the more premium packs for the end of this rip. And we'll rip into the Star Stickers first. Looking for Kinseiko's first of your card. But right at the bat, we have the Angels. Pennant and the Dodgers as well. Ozzy Guillen could be considered a rookie card. His rookie is 86. That's a pretty awesome one. Speaking of Robin Yount, there he is right there. Dave Parker, Jim Presley looks super enthused in that card, and Reggie Jackson. So not a bad pack at all. A good way to start things off in this rip. We'll do 88 Fleer next and see if we can find Edgar Martinez rookie card. And or Tom Glavin or Matt Williams or Mark Grace. Big handful of rookies in here. Rangers sticker starts us off. Ray Knight, Mariana Duncan. There's Vance Law. Would have absolutely despised it as a kid. And I still do. Bill Pakoda and his scum stash. Prevalent there. Concepcion. Mike Loind. Raphael Santana looking extra sassy in that photo. Vaughn Hayes and Vance Law in the same pack. I'm going to spontaneously combust. That is ridiculous. Fred McGriff, second year. Actually, not a second year card. His rookie was in 86, but... Close enough, Mike Felder. And there's Barry Bonds. That's a second-year card, though. And Kent Home Run Beck, as my brother called him back in the day. Off to a good start, though, I would say. Got some nice names and two packs. 89 Tops is next. We're going to see if we can find a Randy Johnson rookie or a Smoltz or a Craig Biggio. And I used to eat the gum all the time until people started to really get pissed off about it. So I kind of stopped. We'll bring it back for special occasions. Raphael Palmero. Maybe elected in the, in the Cooperstown here soon. Stan Javier, I don't think it's going to happen for him personally, but you never know. Tops propaganda piece, a sweet old school sweatshirt. Don Baylor, Spark Anderson, furious in the dugout. 
When was he not furious? Mike Witt, Thurman Wade Boggs All-Star card, Quisenberry, and Kelly Downs. Now we're seeing some omens coming out. 88 score is next on this one. The tamper-proof packaging of 88 score leads us to Gary Thurman on the back. There's a pocket to start things off. I always liked that card in that photo. Kevin McReynolds, George Brett. I'm definitely seeing some nice names, though. Brian Fisher, I've been stoked on that card as a kid. Still a Brian Fisher 88 Tops card with a $2,000 price tag on it in the store right now. <laughs> it was like that in the collection I brought or bought, and I could not ever take it out. Bob Dernier. Let's see what we got for rookies. Mike Devereaux. Roberto Kelly would have been a hot one back in 88. And Gary Thurman. So no Glavin, no Matt Williams rookie in that one. Let's do Sport Flicks next. I guess these are 86. There is a pretty valuable and rare Robin Yount error card to be found in this year. We got George Brett leading things off. Nice one there. Juan Samuel. The Baseball Trivia Ninja Stars. And the Propaganda Piece from Sport Flicks. Dr. K Disc Offer. I don't remember ever seeing one of these in a pack, but I haven't opened a pack of these in a while. That's pretty cool, though. Doc Gooden, and to end it, we have John Denny, Fernando Valenzuela, and Vida Ballou. Always cool to open those up because never really got to experience it as a kid from that particular year. Let's do 88 Leaf next. Not really a pack that you see all that often. The Canadian version of 88 Donruss were never really around when I was a kid. The Stan Musial puzzle piece, some stats there. We have Terry Pendleton. Alvin Davis, George Bell, Canadian greats. Cal Ripken, definitely a nice one. Brooke Jacoby. Mike Scott definitely had some good years. Todd Menziger, we got a Roberto Alomar. That is pretty freaking sick because I don't know if I had that one in my rookie box. Roberto Alomar, Leaf, parallel. Pretty stoked about that. Joe Carter and Robbie Thompson to end that pack. Nice pull there. One of the best cards in the set That between that and Tom Glavin. I think we'll do 89 Bowman next. He's a... Open, crack open that pack of penny sleeves. Throw that in there. Griffey rookie is obviously what we're looking for. This is a Jackie Robinson reprint. Ernie Riles starting things off here. Mitch Williams. Whereas Palmero once again. Ken Howe. Bobby Bow. Dave Steve looking extra devious in that photo. Pendleton once again. It's two packs in a row. We all know what that means. Gene Larkin. Jose De Leon. And there is Ron Gant second year card. To end that pack, we have three packs left in the very first box, the eBay exclusive box. We'll do 89 Donruss next. Let's see if we can't find a Griffey and redeem ourselves for the first pack. Or one of these other plethora of other rookies. Warren Spawn's a puzzle piece. Henderson starts it off. Jack Morris. Dawson, the Hawk, for Corey. Dave Schmidt. <laughs> Keith Atherton. And that scum stash will always make me chuckle. Mark Gray's second year card. Will Clark. Spanky Lavalier, John Franco, and Ed Whitson, who I am almost positive is an omen after a yak pack break a while back. Two packs are main. I guess we'll do Fleer first. See if we can find a Seiko rookie card or a Galarraga or Apollo Neal. Fred McGriff did not make his way into this set. Yankees Pennant and Sticker. Ron Darling, Dickie Thon. <laughs> There's some ridiculous photos in here as well. John Denny once again. Terry Harper. Steve Lyons. Terry Kennedy. And Floyd Bannister to end that pack. Nothing too crazy in that one. Let's see if we can find a Conseco in this one, though. I have pack pulled it now, so that is crossed off my, off my bucket list as of this year. We got Hammer and Hank as the puzzle piece. For 86 Donruss. Bob James. Frank Tanana. Definitely got a nice unibrow. Closing in there. Mookie Wilson. Orsalak. Darnell Coles. There's a nice Aussie Smith. Definitely off center, but a good card nonetheless. Second year Clemens is definitely a good one as well. Bly Levin. Good pack. Pat Sheridan looking super dorky. Jim Clancy. Davis. And there's Brian Fisher yet again to end the first box. So $34.95. Definitely got a lot of nice cards in there. And Roberto Alomar, Leaf, Rookie, along with the Vintage that come along in every single box. So, very awesome stuff so far. Like I said, I'll link that one down below. This next one is a Patreon-exclusive version, I guess. So, let's take a look at this closely and see how it differs. But, 
This one says, this is the Patreon version, which includes 8 to 10 packs from the 80s and 90s, and one vintage card from the 50s. The price of this one's 34 bucks, and is available on Patreon as a monthly subscription. As long as you're an active member every month, you will get one of these shipped to you after payment is cleared. Packs will vary from month to month. The second sheet outlines my Patreon details. Thank you again for reviewing my product. Sincerely, Joel. So here's what we got. You have two tiers on here for his Patreon. Link to my Patreon on my YouTube channel. I'll link that down below too to make it easier on you guys. But uh, the tier one is three bucks. You'll receive random cards in the mail. When I get 20 members, I would give a blaster box away to a random member. 40 members, two blaster box giveaways. 63, 84, and so on. Winning members' names will be shown on a YouTube video and uploaded to Patreon. So take that into consideration. Or you could take and sign on to tier two for 34 bucks, and you have one of these boxes sent to you every single month with uh, the details of what we just went over. Anyone who joins this tier will get the box every month. So check them out on YouTube at 543 Collectibles. I'll link all that down below. And uh, if you have any questions, there is the contact for Joel right there. So Joel, thanks again for sending this. We will see what we have in the Patreon version that will rip into Joel's special gift that he sent me. So Patreon version has a pack of penny sleeves as well. Can't go wrong with those. We have a 55 Bowman here. I might have given it away, but let's see what kind of packs we have. Pull these out first. I see 93 Top Series 1. That's always a nice touch for any repack products. So look at this. We got a Don Zimmer 55 Bowman. That's pretty freaking awesome. And it's in pretty decent shape, too. Love that design for that year, Bowman. Very, very cool. There's the back side of it. So again, these are 34 bucks delivered to your door. And we got a Don Zimmer 55 Bowman. Pretty freaking sweet. So, different pack selection, it looks like. A little bit here. We got 95 Stadium Club Series 1. 93 Tops Series 1 as well. Looking for Jeter rookie card. 93 Don Russ. Always looking for Elites. 87 Tops. We have a chance at the Mantle autograph, which is pretty freaking awesome. And 91 Score Series 2. 88 Tops. 89 Don Russ. 87 Don Russ. We have a different pack of Sport Flicks. This time from uh, 1989. And, whoa, look at that. 85 Don Russ. Pretty freaking awesome selection here. I'm excited to rip into these. Let's start out with 88 Tops and see if we can find a Keith Comstock Air or one of these other slew of other airs, I should say. Propaganda piece with Jack Clark looking super depressed in that photo. Milt Thompson. Joe Price, Chris Brown, Jim Eisenreich. I was never a fan of Jim Eisenreich. For whatever reason, I did not like him when I was younger. And the stickiness here. Ooh, Mike Birkbeck gets it bad. Petey and Cavillia, there's Charlie O'Brien, Wayne Tolleson, Willie Randolph, Gruber, and there's Terry McGriff to win that pack. Nothing too exciting in that one. Sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. Hopefully better luck in this one. Let's find a Will Clark autograph. I can't remember if Will Clark autograph was possible in Series 1 or 2. But regardless, we're hoping for an elite of some kind. I don't know if we're going to have one because it doesn't seem like the border is there. Pat Mahomes, Maholland, Dennis Eckersley, and for whatever reason, <laughs> is that an Alan Embry short print? It's got to be. Tina Martinez, Henry Rodriguez, there is the Alan Embry short print. For whatever reason, it's flipped upside down. You know, and I don't ever remember that happening when I first got back into the hobby years ago. Random cards and like junk wax era packs being upside down. Or even when I was a kid. For some reason now, I'm seeing it a lot more, and it's freaking me out. Jack Clark, Bobby Witt Sr., or Sandy Alomar Jr., and that ends the pack with no elite. But let's see if we have better luck in 89 Sport Flicks, which might have a Sheffield rookie card in here. I think Sheffield rookie is really the only notable rookie to pull. And I don't know if I have it, so I'm pretty eager. But <laughs> Chris Sabo, of course, is in here. Kelly Downs, I love the old the old uh, design of Sport Flicks. I just never liked how you hardly got any cards in a pack. Three cards and some Ninja Star puzzle pieces, or I mean uh, trivia cards. Tom Bernanski and his chubby cheeks looking out at us. There are the Ninja Stars, Cooperstown cards, and there is everyone's personal favorite, Goggleless Chris Sabo. That is also freaking me out. Second year Sabo at that. Saves that pack. And takes us into 95 Stadium Club. This is something I don't think I've ever opened on my channel. I don't think I've opened a pack of these in a very long time. But these are $2.29 back in 1995. 
Looks like we might have a Ripken to greet us in the back. Stadium Club might be looking for mostly insert cards. We've got a bog so far, and these aren't stuck together, surprisingly, but pretty cool design. Todd Huntley, look at this. We got Boggs, we got Griffey, League Leader, Randy Velarde, Danny Tarbell, Roberto Alomar. Felt like they were stuck together there for a second. Otis Nixon, McFarlane, there's Bobby Bow. Whoa, look at that. Totally gave that away because they're stuck together. I used to freaking love these insert cards. Ringleader, Daryl Strawberry. These were just so freaking cool in 1995. Just that design was amazing. I loved it. And I don't even know if I had any of them. But I know my brother did and I was super jealous about it. But awesome strawberry insert there. I like that a lot. Checklist card. The rounded off edges. Craig Biggio. And there's a Ripken. Cause and effect. That was an awesome pack. We might have to rip a box of these for a turn back the clock Tuesday sometime soon. Try to pull some more of those ringleaders and see what else we can find. But nice surprise in there. What do we do next? Let's do 91 score next and see if we can find a Mantua Auto. How crazy would that be to open one pack and pull that? It'd be absolutely nuts. Maybe we'll find Chipper Jones rookie card. It's possible. Davy Johnson. We've got Tat Padler, of course. The only matter of time that we saw him. Mel Rojas, Langford, Matt Stark, Clemens, and Rick Cerrone. Clemens definitely takes the cake on that pack. We'll do 87 tops next. Pack looks pretty crisp. And untampered with. It's always a good sign. The gum is welded on there. And we're going to start out with Mike Moore. Looking for Bond's rookie card, obviously. Or Larkin or Will Clark or Bo Jackson. Bob Rogers. Spring training propaganda piece. John Franco. Pat Sheridan. There's Tony Gwynn. I always like that photo, too. It's pretty cool. Chris Bando. There's Vince Coleman's second year. Cal Daniels, second year as well. And Carmelo Martinez, who I had a vendetta against as a kid. And without reason, as should be expected. We'll do 89 Donruss next and see if we can find that Griffey. Or Kurt Schilling or many of the several others that are possible pulls. 89 Donruss. Gerald Perry, check his card. Chris Sabo once again. Why should we expect anything else? Fred Lynn, Tony Gwynn once again. Two Chris Sabo Diamond Kings in one pack. What is going on? First we had, what, Vance Law and Vaughn Hayes in the first box. And now there's two Sabos in one pack. The exact same freaking card. Something is good. <laughs> oh, the same collation. Oh, I love that pack so much. The exact same collation. I would have been furious as a kid. Absolutely furious. But now, I love it. I freaking love it. 93 Tops is next. Looking for a Jeter rookie card. These boxes are like, I don't know. I think they've come down to around 100 bucks, A little over 100 bucks, From what it seems like. And um, we're looking for a gold Derek Jeter rookie. I'm going to be greedy. And greed got me nowhere on that one because instead I got a Mike Morgan. Lenny Harris. But I will settle for the regular Jeter. Ozzy Smith to sign an autograph. Always like that card. Shane Mack. Mike Stanley. Ken Herbeck once again, a wild thing. There's Jose Vizcayano and Eric Caro's Gold Cup, followed by Ryan Sandberg to end that pack. And we'll do 87 dollars next. Inside the 87, looking for Bonds or Maddox rookie or McGuire's first Donruss card. Clemente, puzzle piece. We got Jeff Stone certain things off. Bruce Hurst. Give us a big name here. Eric Davis was a big name in 1987. Socia. Definitely added it to the Omen list. <laughs> I feel like I've seen four or five of his cards. Good old Tony's cards now in this rip. You got to go on the Omen list. It is only right. There's Eckersley. Right before being traded to the A's. Canseco. And Canseco that looked absolutely nothing like him. Nothing like him at all. Dave, Dave Smith always had that sunglass tan line. Jack Morris and Ty Ganey. Looks ecstatic on that photo. To end that pack, we go to 85. Donruss next. 85, looking for Clemens or Puckett rookies. Or Eric Davis or Saberhagen or Doc Gooden. There's quite a few in here. Possible pieces is Lou Gehrig this year. Don't open 85 all that often. Did a rip on these not too long ago. 
but first time in a while. Ron Reed, always like this plain design. Steve Crawford, that gnarly handlebar mustache. Vance Law, once again, what is going on here? Jeffrey Leonard, there's Gibby. <laughs> Keith Atherton. Cruz, Charlie Huff, Vic Rodriguez, Alan Ashby, and Clay Christensen ends that pack. Definitely a nice pack to have in there. Boxes of these are, I don't know, about $225, $250, somewhere in that range. So always nice to rip one pack of those to see what you can find. But Don Zimmer, 55 Bowman, I'd say the price point for these is pretty, pretty awesome. The Patreon version, $34. Get that delivered to you. Or go on to eBay and try out the regular eBay version of the Retro Kaboom Box. I will link all of these down below. Joel, 543 Collectibles, thank you again very much for sending me these. It's definitely a good time, and I think the price point is definitely there. you got a nice pack selection, and you got some nice singles thrown in as well. Check them out. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the product. If you plan on getting one, I'd love to hear from you guys, and I will see you back tomorrow night. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.